What's up guys and gals, welcome back to City Skylines, where you will notice a new road. Now it looks kind of like a happy face, I don't know, the whole thing is looking a little bit rudimentary, but I've been running our highway system together because I don't like the pre-made ones, I should probably use them, but eh. This guy's, this one guy has low land housing value, have you ever stopped to think that maybe you're the only common denominator here? Like everybody else's houses are worth money, why is yours not worth very much? Just some things to think about, just some little things to mill about in your head, sir. What was your name? Hold on, I can get your name here. The Cedar Residence. The Sycamore Residence. Cedar and Sycamore. See, the problem is you named you guys... You guys are named after trees. I'd never get anything done if I was named after trees. You would almost have to become a weed dealer if your last name was any type of tree. Or if your name was just tree to begin with. I'll probably go with another road down in here. I need to connect all my highways for right now. All my highways and my byways, unfortunately. I need to go right there. Will that not go? You don't like that? Well, why don't you like that? And why is that still curved when I've got it on straight-ass mode? Is there is there a reason that on straight-ass mode you are not being straight? Yes. It's probably just due to the fact that... Here, we'll take this out like so. And then from there, I'm sure we can fix this. So there it is. There it is. I did this in the stream the other day and somebody laughed and said, That looks like Caltrans work. And I was like, Yeah, there you go. There's your joke of the day. There's your joke of the day. And so this one should, I think, connect to right there. The highways are going to be a little bit weird for a while. But even though the roads don't look like much, the rest of it's working fairly well. I wish that I had the brains and the foresight to use something like this. But unfortunately, while it is in the menu, you kind of have to free place it out here. And then once you free place it, you connect everything to it. And I'd rather just do it freehand. It feels more natural to me. Yes, the people that use the pre-built stuff, their cities are going to look better. But I like doing this stuff right here. So let's see what we can do with what we have up and in here. I'm thinking another district just like this one to get them up and running. However, while we wait on Bimmington to get better at certain things, we have schools in. So I don't know why you're all are failing so much. Trying hard right now. Trying real hard. See, you've got a school right there. And yet your education... Maybe it's just the fact that... It takes a while to educate people, like there's like a delay on it or something like that. I, With education, I have a long-standing beef with education where, unfortunately, we just sit and like stare at each other in a very, very grumpy gunslinger-like fashion until it fixes itself. Yeah, it looks like things are getting better with the education. It's just going to take a while. 77% of our students have graduated. That still leaves a 23% non-graduation rate, which is sub-satisfactory. I think you realistically want to get that down pretty far. Oh, 16% educated now. Okay. I hope it comes together. I hope it all comes together. We still have to develop this area, so we're going to focus on this first. For right now, what the game seems to want from us is more office buildings. And so I'm happy to oblige. We can make that happen right now. We can totally make that. That's not what I wanted. You Is that what I wanted? That is what I wanted. Never mind. So there we go. Let's put some office buildings out here. They are going to run flush up to the pollution, unfortunately. It's not something that can really be helped right now. I do have a little bit of wasted space right there, but I think I'll leave it alone. Let's have a little bit of a sound barrier on that side, and I should also pause the game while I build here. We put on the lowest setting, though, for speed. On this side, six-lane roads. Transit bill is going to be a mother in this place. That looks pretty good. Sure. See, this part's probably going to be a little bit easier to figure out. Because, ah, uh, I didn't like that. It counted that as me, like, trying to cheese it. Okay, so we may have to go from that intersection right there, which would be no good. So let's just maximize the amount of space we can have. It's going to have, like, a little cartoon mouth. They're like, eh. Like, that's the grumpy mouth. It's not the grumpy mouth. That's the sarcastic mouth right there. If you put two little eyes above it. Watch, you'll see what I mean. Watch, it's going to be the grumpy mouth. Let's see. So you just go like this. So there's the mouth, kind of. Well, the inner part, the empty part is the mouth. And then if I just go boop, boop, there it is right there. You see it? See, it's the sarcastic mouth. That's the quip mouth. That's the mouth that goes in the final frame when you're finishing off the comic, when they're delivering the punchline. Got to have that deadpan look on their face. That's the secret to like 90% of comics is you just got to have the right facial expression, I think. Because when the reader sees that and they associate with it, it becomes incredibly funny. Sure, maximize our space a little bit more. I know that this is not the perfect city. I know that we have problems, and then this one over here, I should probably start using the curves a little bit better. So there's the curve right there. The space is already occupied. Well, maybe we go a little bit shorter. It doesn't like that at all. We'll have to figure out what we want to do with this then. I don't see something like... 
I mean, it's a little bit of an odd place to put a road, and it does mess up some of our other stuff, but... I mean, I suppose I could just do... It doesn't all have to be filled. I think that would be the other thing that I would say, is you don't necessarily always have to fill every square inch of space. And so we could just make those two little, like, inlets right there that people could go check out if they wanted to that break off of this little one-way thoroughfare out here. Really, really happy with the city so far. The city's working... Oh, we have traffic backups. Okay, so traffic backups through right here, unfortunately. It's because you got people flipping a bitch right there. That's what it is. Alright, can't be having that right now. Y'all gotta go down to like a different intersection or something. Make it work out elsewhere. That or just give us some more throughput. Because like right here it has three lanes, but for whatever reason they're all only driving in the center. I guess it's because they gotta merge together to get to this point right here, but... I think we're going to slowly run into traffic issues over here, so yeah, I think it's a good idea that we replaced everything over on this side, because this might get a little nasty in the future. Oh, wow. Alright, so let's see what we can do to fix this up, because this shall not stand. I mean, I think that might help out a little bit in helping people transfer around. But for this part right here, can I upgrade this? Like, how come cannot upgrade to this type? Can we upgrade it to, like, a 2, then? Like, we need multiple lanes right here. We can't be having this anymore. There it is. Okay. Let's fatten this slightly. Oh, my God. It's like the developers saw my plight, and they were like, you know what would be awesome right now? If we just had a retrofit tool that made all this go away, and the player could be like, thanks, developers. I appreciate you doing this for me. And so now that we've widened all this, our lives might be a tad easier. Sorry, all your residential houses are going to go so that we can put the freeway flush up with the side of your house. I apologize for the inconvenience, but it had to happen. It was necessary. It was necessary. So over here, we can't really upgrade much more. We're still going to run into problems, but this should alleviate it slightly, I think. It might just be people getting off right here and going to town. I like it, though. It's a solution that I'm okay with. We can also widen this slightly, just make it all look good. Well, damn, son. Well, damn. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do. I am so stoked that that actually worked out. I didn't even think to hope that that would work out, so hell, I'll take it. We have a lot of transfers going on on that side. We may want to start feeding people into the city. Got a little bit of a traffic jam right there, but it's only blocking up the right lane. In real life, that would be a major problem, but in-game it actually isn't that bad because the cars just re-divert around them. It works how it should in theory in real life, except that that's not exactly how it works. Got an ambulance stuck in traffic right there. We may also want to re-divert then. If we're having problems getting people into the city right here, expanding that out is not really going to help. However, on this side, retrofitting all this might be a decent plan now that we have housing taken care of. What was that structure right there? I don't even know what that was, but I guess we're destroying it. But retrofitting and making our industrial area a little bit more... Well, I don't know if that'll work out so great. We have an off-ramp right there. We have an on-ramp right there. Okay. Just got to plan this out for a second because I don't want things to go horrifically wrong while we're down and in here. And to be fair, they're not going that wrong. But we do have some minor congestion taking place. So that'll actually show up, I think. Maybe if we made some more tram lines. And then also, we maybe wanted to make some of those industrial train lines, possibly. I know that we have those. So what is this right here? A train station. So that's going to allow tourists to come through. This is a cargo train terminal. Cargo trains operate inside a city or with an outside connection. Build stations and connect them with tracks before using the train line tool to make a line. So let's say that we put in a train down here. I would prefer... I think we're still going to have traffic congestion, unfortunately. I sort of built myself into a corner up here. Which is a bit of a downer. We'll go a train station right there. Yeah, these single lane roads are causing problems up here, and we wouldn't have any problem at all had we built it like this down here to begin with. It's... Luckily, we can just kind of, like, abandon it and not think about it. But yeah, traffic's got to be pretty bad. And look, the traffic actually isn't so terrible in the city except for anywhere but right here. Everywhere else, it's doing okay. 
I think the thick lines are allowing people to move on through. We're still profitable, which is the ultimate point of the game in my opinion, so eh. I guess maybe efficiency. There doesn't actually seem to be a point to this game. I guess you make your own point. For right now, we need more oh, we need more places for people to work actually. So I guess we'll make this entire section some kind of super awesome mercantile area. Actually, I tend to avoid that before I get the roads laid down. They don't have any water over here. Let's get them hooked up to the pipe. Take that down a little further. There it is. So they now have water, so that should fix that right up. The train station... So if we have... Oh, we got to run track, too. Okay, so how does track deal with road? Let's just play around with it for a second. Do we have to upraise it? Okay, so it deals the exact same way you would expect it to. Alright, well, if the train track works, it might be worth it to drop in... Do I have to put in separate terminals? A train station. Draw a line by clicking the train station, the departure station from the terminal station. Okay. I'm going to put in a train right there. Looks like apparently our train had to be dropped in explosively. That was the only way we could get the line to run. We need water to go out to this thing right now. Let's go to right there. I have fun playing with new systems, and so I like new toys. New toys make me happy. I'm going to have to take this. The train track also has to be considered. For right now, we might have to do something janky like that until we connect this all. We still actually need a lot more commercial, so let's get all of this piped out. I'm going to pause the game. There we go. It's a little bit ziggy and zaggy, which is not my favorite thing. I like things to be symmetrical and look good, but unfortunately that conclusion is so far gone at this point. Disorder and entropy are so far gone at this point that I'm not even going to waste time trying to fix them. As long as I don't have to look at the traffic system, I'm okay. If I have to look at traffic anymore, though, that was kind of... The entire reason the traffic is bad is because I didn't plan properly in the early game. So, if we get some more public transit, it might help out a little bit, though. I know I have a lot of train lines running in... I'm sorry, a lot of bus lines running in and around here. I don't know if bus lines can go into the city. Like, can you have a bus line go... The problem is that I have a one-way thing right here. I guess you could do a bus into the city, and that's it. That's the only point of the bus, is that it takes you into the city. That might work. Let's try that for a second. Let's try that for a second. So let's say that we start out with a bus stop right here. And it just goes into the city. And we just work it all the way around the edges of the city. Like this is a long, long bus line. It's only going to show up like every two hours or so. However, where's the off ramp? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is the off-ramp that we're looking for? So it's going to be... Do I not have a way for that to get back is my concern for right now. So it starts right there. we got to get to the other side of the road. Where is the thing that I'm looking for? That doesn't go where I want it to. That doesn't go where I want it to. Oh, there's no way out of the city, except to use, like, the same road you were already on. That's a little bit dis... Okay, so hold on. Let's bring this back slightly. And if we want it to go into the city, it can go to there. We have to have some way to, like, leap the freeway right now and get onto the other side. And this is exposing, actually, a flaw in my transit system, so that's fine. That's totally cool and whatever. I can deal with that. Yeah, we either need it to make a jump over here, or we need to make it a jump over here, preferably on both. So let me give that a try first, before we do this. We gotta, we gotta do some roadie stuff first, so let's do some roadie stuff. Oh, I don't want to upgrade right now. I want to I wanna run some... Let's see here, if I page up that, it can go to right there. Take that to right there. And that's going to be a... I don't even think we... We need a one-way for this, don't we? 
I think a one way would be fine because they can't turn any other way like this right here. Yeah, they're not going to be coming this way in the first place. This is going to be getting back onto the road, so I actually should probably change this around slightly. So we can't upgrade to those, so I'm going to have to bulldoze them first. But we'll go one way right here. I'm starting to think about things. It's just my brain, like I, like I told you in the earlier episodes, I've got like new neurons collecting. And like things are happening right now that are... I think I'll probably get... There we go. The slope was too steep for a second. But now it's not any longer. It's not any longer. So we'll go right there. And at this point... I'm going to try and give myself a nice little bit of room here. And so there it is. That's a normal street though, isn't it? Well, I guess the normal street can feed onto the freeway. And that'll be... Did they put in a stop sign right there? Or is that just the AI adjusting? Because if that becomes permanent... I would prefer that this be an on-ramp, so maybe I should... Let me let me do that now. Let me do that now, because I see far-reaching consequences in my poor planning here. I see far-reaching consequences. So at this point, we'll convert it into a on-ramp. So there it is. So that the congestion happens right there. It's not much to look at, but it does give us a way back out and around to connect like some of these bus stops in and out of the city. This plan might not even work in the first place, just because congestion is bad enough right there to where... I don't trust it, and how much of it is trucks, and how much of it is, like, private enterprise. Well, I suppose that if we could get even, like, some of these cars off the road, it would work out a lot better for us. Train is running right now. New stations might not hurt either, but we'll deal with that in a second. I just, I gotta keep myself focused on the task at hand here. So we got a bunch of bus lines not running out here. That all appears to be mostly covered, but we'll start one from right here, too. Go around the edges, and then reconnect this bad boy. Let's have it hit, like, everything right now. On this side, we could actually use some more buses here, too. So let's take this down to here. Did I use one-way road on all that? Please tell me I didn't use one-way road. I think I did. Ew. I may have to fix that. Hold on. Did I do that on purpose or did I do that accidentally? Well, that looks like... Is it doing anything for us right here? So that stoplight is red. Let's watch how the traffic disperses right here. That might be the main problem is that... I didn't make this two ways, so let's fix this real fast. So I'd like this to be... I can't believe I didn't see that. That had Somebody had to have yelled at me for that, huh? Didn't they? They had to have. There's no way that they didn't. So we've got to sort of like weave this through now, and it may not even work that way. Yikes. Yeah, we may not even be able to... That may be a mistake which comes with a heavy cost. Yep. It is a mistake that came with a heavy cost. I'll leave the other ones how they are, but in order to keep this flowing, I just wanted to have one street over here that would be able to handle it, and it's disappointing, and I'm not happy with myself right now, but it had to be done. Even if you have to redistrict and restart over, it had to be done, so there it is. Let's throw in a bit more residential right here so people have places to live. I don't see it creeping upwards right now. Our residential seems to be doing very, very strongly. In fact, it's our mercantile stuff that I think needs to get done. What was this right here? Office zones. Okay, so I need high-density commercial. That would explain why things aren't happening. That would explain it. I may also redistrict some of this down here because I don't think we need that many office zones. There we go. And these aren't one way, are they? These, are, these have got to be two way. Like, I would prefer that they be two way. It would really help me out here. It would make my life easier. What's going on with these and why aren't they upgrading? They're operating, maybe it's just because they're new, possibly? We're making shit tons of money. We're losing citizens, though. That's because I cleared out this block. That's the problem right there, but they should crop back up in just a second. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that had to happen, but it sort of had to happen, so... Oh, well... Oh, why are you guys getting off right here? Uh, 
Okay, so we may need to redistrict all of this too. It's going to cost us and it's going to hurt us. But it is going to have to happen. We'll wait for our industry needs to fall off though. I'd like to have three empty meters before I start hitting this really, really hard. So there we go. We'll allow the train station to bring people up to all this space right here. And we'll see how much money we can make. It looks like they're opening up a lot of the same stores. Whatever this company is with these pink octopuses, it must be something like Starbucks. Because in the city, that's the only time you see that same logo so close to each other. But like, oh look, it's a Starbucks a block away from a Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks did industry research and realized that they could triple their profits if they just put them closer. Okay, so we need to fix this right now. And unfortunately, the way we're going to have to fix this is by redistricting. That's There's nothing else that we can do about it. So... The plan that I am going to come up with here is going to be... Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt so much. But I can't think of any other way to do it. Can't think of any other way to do it. I'll relocate you guys in a second, but yeah. I can't think of any other way to make this work. So anything that has permanence right now... Actually, yeah, get rid of that. That'll be fine. How's our electrical system doing before I do that, actually? Poorly. So we're probably going to suffer after we do that still. I'll move those in a minute. We just need to... This entire... Like I said, this entire section needs to be redistricted. And there's nothing I can do about it aside from that. We can rebuild, hopefully. But that's pretty much all that we can do right now. So let's knock all this off for a second. You, this sucks. What is that, like a bus station or something? I don't even know what that is. Get on out of here. So basically the way that I need this to function. Let's take some of this stuff. I need you to relocate over to here. Need you to relocate over to here. You to here, just to make a little bit of room while I build and figure out ways to make this work. It might not be fixable at this point. It could be all over. But we have to try. So now the thing that I would prefer to do is we've already got that right there. What I want this to be down and in here is going to be maybe not six lane. Well, six lane might work. I don't know. Let's just go for six lane for right now. And let's just drag this all the way up to where it was previously. How this is going to affect our bus lines, not sure. May or may not affect them. It might do something terrible. We might be making a huge mistake right now. Just sort of depends, I guess. And then what I'd like to do is let's get this reindustrialized. I mean, honestly, we could put office buildings out here. I don't know how they would do in this part of town, but it would help us with our pollution problem slightly. Let's try it. Let's do a string of those jobs right there and just sort of see how that takes us. And then maybe we'll industrialize the other half right here. I realize this might be moving the problem because they've still got to get onto the freeway over here. But getting onto the freeway, the flow through seems to be a lot less. I'm watching the cars right now, and most of them look like they're going into the city. So a better plan... Yeah, most of those right there seem like they're doing fine, but we should be able to alleviate some of this pain over here by doing that. And maybe getting rid of that right there. I like how they off-road it right there. So that actually just re-diverted it to this side. So we may have to make this. We may have to thicken roads in here. And there's a couple ways we might be able to do that. Traffic does look like it's picking up though. Maybe. I oh, don't know. We have like a big circular nastiness over on this side. We've got rolling blackouts. So let's fix that real quick. That was something that we had thought might happen along the way. Don't really need any more trash converters right now. So I'll probably just drop a whole bunch of these bad boys in. Has that helped out at all with our sludge pit? Like, how do we tell how efficient this thing is being? It purifies most of the sewage before it's pumped out. 
It just gives us capacity. That's all that it does. So we might be able to lower one of these outflows. So water available, sewage. Oh, the sewage treatment. We actually could use some help right there, too. Then let's try for... Oh, it doesn't like that spot at all. We'll see what that does right there. And maybe move you to right there. And we'll get rid of you two. We don't want the sewage to back up. Just kind of like retrofitting things and making sure we're moving our society into the modern world here. Sewage treatment's still a little bit low. That's okay. I can fix that up right now. And we'll do that before anybody knows what even happened. We got plenty of cash, plenty of money, lots of ways to make our society better and use less pollutants. There. And so that'll help out a little bit. And so that should leave us, yeah, doing great with our sewage, actually. We've got 640,000 cubic meters. All right, if you don't know the difference between something that is cubed, something that is squared, I figure I should do something educational right now. So essentially, area means that it has two dimensions involved, so it's 16 by 14. It would be 16 by 14. And then if something is a, you know, if it's something is a unit of volume, it means that it also, you fill in the space in between, so it has height as well involved. So it would be 16 by 14 by 12, and so you'd have 16 this way, 14 this way, and then 12 upwards. That's for all the kids that might be watching right now. Maybe you haven't gotten there in your geometry classes or whatever, but no problem throwing it out. So they need workers. They shouldn't need workers, I don't think. Traffic is looking real backed up right there. And I think that's due to the fact that I have too many people coming in right here to flip Yui's for some reason. Oh, and just to turn around to get into the city. So, providing further access along this road to get into the city might be a good plan, too. Like, maybe another overpass that allows them to drop in comfortably without too many problems. Maybe something over here. I mean, technically, I could break it off right here and we could come into the city on this side and alleviate a little bit. But either way, we got to jump this freeway over here. City transit planning is not my strength, as you might be able to tell. So what I'm going to do for right now is I'll fiddle with the traffic for a minute and see if I can come up with, like, some real solution. I'll see you on the next episode. Hi-do, everybody.